I can't believe this is video 100. It was inspired by a comment from Janice on the bagel chip video and my worries over the plastic Ziploc bag. She shared a related issue she has with canvas tote bags. She stashed the ones she liked with the intention of using them instead of plastic, but then she didn't find situations worthy of using them. So on a quick run to the grocery store, instead of pulling out one of her folded and packed away totes, she'd struggle to carry things by hand or use a box. Now she's filling these totes with donation items so others can use them. But why didn't she ever use them for herself? I can totally relate to Janice's comment. I'll save nice shopping bags, but I won't use them for myself. I save them for when I'm giving things to other people. Do you remember the Seinfeld episode when the contraceptive sponge was taken off the market? Elaine wants to conserve her limited remaining stash and doesn't want to waste any. She'll only use them with guys she deems sponge worthy through an interview process. It's hilarious. I'll put the link below. It's like the more I like something and find it special or unique, the more precious it is to me. And in my mind, I need a super worthy occasion to use it because I only have the one and I can't replace it. For something as basic as a shopping bag, I might find it special because of the pattern, the graphics, or I just find it hilarious. There are other things I also stash and deem too precious to actually use. Stickers, anyone? I'm middle age and still hoarding stickers. I bought the stickers in the first place because I like them, but then I'm afraid to use them, especially on things that will leave my possession because then that sticker I liked will be gone. Now I remind myself that I didn't buy the stickers just for the actual stickers. I bought them for their use, for their stickability to add a special touch on a birthday card to my niece or my friend, or to decorate something of my own. Using them is their purpose. I shared my sticker stashing on Reddit and someone confessed that they always buy two sticker sheets, one to keep and one to use. Someone else related how they're afraid they'll stick them on something and then need to get rid of that thing, or the sticker will get scratched and faded. That's another thing, the perfectionism. I have an unrealistic expectation to keep things in pristine condition forever. I'm afraid I'll damage an item or mess it up somehow while using it. And if that item is discontinued or no longer available, <laughs> oh boy, then I'm extra hesitant to use it. You know what does allow me to feel okay using something I really like? Having a duplicate stashed away in case I damage the one I'm using. Having a backup is a safety net. Someone aptly broke down the perfectionism. It's fear of loss, fear of loss of potential, fear of screwing up, of making the wrong decision, fear of impermanence and incompleteness. Here are some other things shared on the message board that really hit home. Surely it's better to enjoy something and have it get worn out than have a perfect thing that's useless and perpetually in storage. If my choices are A, use something in a less than perfect way, or B, get rid of it, then using it becomes a less frightening outcome. The sheer horror of just how much of that saving for the perfect occasion stuff I had to trash or donate finally opened my eyes. Nothing I make will ever be as bad an idea as hoarding was, so I may as well get on with being imperfect. There were a lot of great posts on this thread. People sharing about art supplies, clothes, makeup and beauty products. The link's below and I definitely recommend having a read if you relate to this topic. Thanks again to Janice for inspiring this video. If you've got a topic that you'd like to share, please leave a comment. And if it's something I can make a video about, I'll do my best.